Hey guys, myself Rakesh, and in this video, our agenda is how can you add one value to multiple variables. So this we can learn with a very interesting example. So here, let's say there are five students: student one, student two, and student three, four, five. All these five students are going for an interview, or they have gone for an interview. In the interview, three students were chosen, or three students only got selected, and two were rejected. So, who are those students who got rejected? Student number one got rejected, and the student number five got rejected. That's a bad day for them. But the good day is student two, three, four. These three people got selected. Use Python program to store the selected and rejected values. So, how do you do it? right very interesting so that's where you will be using adding one value to multiple variables you know so let's see how to do it so here what i'm going to do so who are the students who got failed student 1 and student 5 so i'm going to write student 1 equals to student 5 equals to you can say rejected or you can say failed whatever you want to say okay so i'm giving a single value to two different variables and what happened to the next one student 2 equals to so student 2 3 4 this three people got selected so let's write it student uh, 3 equals to student 4 equals to and I'm going to say congratulations selected okay some value I'm just trying to put it so what is happening one value I am assigning to multiple variables right let's say just think student 1 and student 2 these are two friends student 1 and student 2 are very close friends so they wanted to check the results so I'll say print and I will say student and ensure the variables in Python is case sensitive so I have to write in the same format s capital means s capital okay student 1 comma student 2 so they wanted to see their result of the interview so when when we use this command in python the python command print student 1 comma student 2 and if i run this python program what is the output i will get by hitting on f5 also you can do it so what is the output so the for the first one student 1 it has printed failed and the second one it has printed congratulations selected okay so let's say i want to give little space just to differentiate uh, both of this so what I can do in the print command let's give little space and then okay I want to specify some give some space so I've done that and let's hit on F5 hit on OK so what is the output um, okay why there is an invalid syntax yes because I need to provide a comma very simple okay now let's do f5 hit on ok so what happened the first one is say it failed there's a uh, symbol i've given and then congratulations selected or you can give it a comma let's say i don't want a dash that doesn't look appropriate so semicolon or whatever you want to use okay something like this now if you do f5 hit on ok it's up to you how do you like to program fail and congratulations selected so the student one failed and this one has got selected right so this is how we can print so you can see how we have assigned one value to multiple variables right here we have assigned it to multiple variables and this value we have assigned to three different variables so thank you for watching guys we are going to come up with more such interesting examples with which you can remember the facts the codes of python very easily thank you stay connected uh, please do subscribe to my channel and we are going to meet in the next video bye bye